The next key thing that we'd like to talk about is anisotropic compensation, right? It's clear that in order for mainstream adoption, we need tighter tolerances and this needs to happen much faster, right? We can't spend 10 to 15 hours compensating something just so we can print it and hope to God that the green part that comes out will come out the right way. And so to address this key fundamental issue, we decided that it made sense to create a number of geometric APIs for generalized anisotropic compensation. The idea being that if already right now, if you give us, if, the, if you give the engine six scalar values, um, three for scaling and X, Y, and Z, and three for offsetting or, or, or compensating and, and X, Y, and Z, you're now able to fundamentally you know, attack some of these hard and difficult problems quicker, better, and faster. You're using the GPU to fully modify all of these images. And what does this mean? It means more materials, more part families, more printer companies and ISVs generating IP, and quite honestly, faster and quicker qualification. The idea here is we're trying to build the tools to fundamentally accelerate how quickly people can develop sophisticated strategies. It's our goal to essentially be the best mathematicians in the room and enable every single one of our partners to generate more and more IP to run their machines to the limit. So let's dig again a little bit deeper. So here we have a test geometry. It's basically a helical fluid channel. The idea was it has a bunch of thin walls and it includes positive and negative features that will receive corrections on the order of the feature sizes. Um, of course, showing anisotropic compensation is difficult because we're talking about microns, not meters. And the idea here is we're specifically trying to show in this example how this anisotropic offsetting is being used in this raster process to calibrate the machine. So in this world, and you, you might have to squint a bit, you'll see that we have a number of slices and you can see that there's a certain level of black, white, and gray in these existing slices. We've now conducted an anisotropic offset on these slices, um, 40, 40 microns in X, 40 or 60 in Y and 80 in Z. And now you can see two key fundamental differences. Number one, uh, because we are doing an erosion, you're gonna see more white on the right, right? So you're seeing those rings and those uh, little blemishes kind of contract a bit. You're also gonna see the fact that the angle of the darkness in the ring is also changing. This is because we are offsetting in Z as well. And because it's a helix, it's, we're just traversing further and further up the helix. Again, the idea here is not that we have invented the best way to go and compensate parts. The idea here is we've been developing a generalized API so that more and more people can take a much more sophisticated approach to doing this. 